Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Scouting for Goals. They call us Journey Many here on YouTube. Gloucester at home today. We're back in the play back in the title hunt even. And I've devised a totally brand new tactic that's a little bit genius and a little bit crazy. So I'm going to talk you through that and show you what that what that's led to. Um, it has led to a couple of wins and a couple of really good performances. So I'll show you that and me thinking behind it. And hopefully another win here and we're well back in the title hunt. So then, first of all, I want to just show you the schedule. I think you saw um, we're at Leamington last, so we want that one to one. We changed to a four-one-three-two narrow for this game, um, and we edged it one-nil. It were a good goal by Andy Crutchley, and we just edged it. Bearing in mind they were bottom of the league, it weren't a great performance. Um, we then played Altrincham and threw away a two-goal lead. Um, however, I mean this were an absolute stunner. In the last few minutes, um, but then I changed it. I changed it radically. I went. I cleared it off totally. Started from scratch and just put players in positions and just really messed about until I worked out a formation and a system that I wanted to play, um, which led to a two-two draw with Kers and Ashton. Um, Edwards getting two. But now I really want to talk you through. This was the game where it all came to fruition. There were good signs in this this Curzon Ashton game, real good signs. But then Telford came along. Telford away, and we absolutely bossed it. We bossed it from minute one to ten. I mean, look at how many greens we got there. I tweaked and everything, and this is where I want to show you the analysis now, and I want to go into this formation. Um, probably best first to actually show you the formation. Important to note that Beck is playing here at the moment. Now, for the Telford game, that wasn't the case. It was this sort of formation um, with a pressing forward on support. And that was um, uh, Simpson were playing on this right hand side as a target man, and Edwards was playing here as a pressing forward. Since then, Due to injuries to Hector Ingram and Simpson, one day after another, we've had to go to a one up top, which has meant Beck has come in here. Thinking behind that, Hawkridge is on the right, and Hawkridge is covering this right hand side a lot better than Rodman is. Now, bearing in mind, these are two players that you've seen quite a bit of Rodman. Hawkridge, we're getting absolutely slated in the press and everything, right? We've brought him back in. He's been an absolute revelation. I don't know if it shows in his average. He does, right? He's been unbelievable. So I've got him doing a different role. Beck's come in. It just sort of shows this up a little bit. It stops this overload. Um, and obviously Edwards goes into the middle as target man on, on attack. So what happens here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through it now. Um, and then we'll have a look at the analysis and the positions, etc. So, we have obviously got us goalkeeper in, in there. No sweeper, keeper, just standard. Right, centre-halves. Dinzea, playing here, what I did was, went to edit instructions, stay wider when we've got the ball. I want the three to spread, sort of like that. I don't want us narrow. I want us spread out at the back to receive the ball and keep possession. Right? Same with Austin on the left. So as soon as we get possession, we play out from the back. As two wide centre half split wide, and we've got obviously a, a central central defender in the middle, right? At which point we try to get it into one of these two. Now Schools is a sort of aggressive sweeper, um, and he's doing well. Flanagan was marking. Um, that sort of defensive midfield left position, which you'd expect, right? Now, that were mainly to cover these two areas and help cover these two areas. Now, we've got Beck back in here. He doesn't have to do that as much, um, but Beck gets forward more and just covers everything. He just shows up that left-hand side. In terms of Hawkridge on the right, we've got him marking a specific position when out of possession again. And that's wing back right. So we've got him, when he's in possession, yeah, by all means, get forward, do you know what I mean, and, and do your stuff, which he is doing brilliantly. But when out of possession, he drops back into here. 
So he sort of, I'm not moving because, but he'll, he sort of drops into this area, which is fantastic, right? So then we've got us two shielding the back three, and Neil is really the link player. Now, that were Andy Crutchley at the start, it probably will be again soon, but at the moment, Neil has been playing out of his skin. Now, unless he's not fit for this game, which is today, which he isn't, probably Andy Crutchley will start this one. But interesting to note, he's just, he's just like... He's the link. He links it all up. He lets Flanagan play little one twos and dictate the play, which is what we're after. When we've got us front two, they're dangerous. Obviously, that's where his strength's been pre-season and through the season as well. I think Edwards has got now 18 goals, maybe. But the front two were doing really well. But what I would want also to know is Rodman, right? Now let's just have a look at this guy. He's played on the left hand side. He's got, he's got it. He's that creative little, he's that creative player who just, he's got a bit of quality about him. I know he's only rated two star, but he's got a bit of flair, first touch, dribbling, passing. He seems to make the right decisions. I'm assuming, yeah, 14. Decisions is 14. He makes the right decisions at the right times, and that's massively important. And really, that's been it. We've changed to this, and it's seen an upturn in form. We've got players playing in a position, and I'll now take you through the, the tactical style. We are playing through the middle, because this area is where we're at the strongest, I believe. We are at the strongest in this sort of, what would you call it, Christmas tree, whatever, snooker set, whatever. That's where we're at as best, right? We focus down the middle. We pass shorter because we've got good passes in the team, right? Playing for set pieces because we've got height. We want to be more expressive and dribble less. I don't want them dribbling. I want them passing ball off one tools, playing good football. We're not interested in wasting time. That does change if we're struggling a little bit and obviously if we're defending. In transition, we're distributing to the playmaker. Now, as playmakers, Flanagan there, but there's also the option of Rodman on the left. We've actually got two playmakers in the team. One sat deep and one attacking. Now, we've been successful. Because we've got three defenders who are pretty comfortable on the ball, We've been able to get that into Flanagan there, and then we dictate from there. We counter when we win it, because we, there's no point us sitting back. There's no point. There's no point in dropping into sort of a 5, I don't know, maybe a 5-3-2, would you call it? Or a 3-5-2. There's no point in dropping into that. We've got to win the ball back and press immediately. And obviously, we've got tighter marking. What does this mean in terms of a game situation? Well, let's have, a, let's have a quick look. Now, we'll go to the Telford game because I thought this was fantastic, right? And this is the one with the two up front. And here you'll see the two slightly different systems. So we'll go to players, um, click on us, and then we want to have a look at average positions. So with the ball, let's just put us all on. Um, da, 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 da. This is, So this is the... This is the uh, the one with the two strikers. So, we've got Dinsey there, crucially in the middle, and Austin there. Now, when we didn't have them on stay wider, they were a lot more bunched up in the middle. Flanagan and Schools, as you can see, Schools plays a little bit deeper, which means Dinsey drops back. He's sort of more of an outlet ball if we, we have to start again. Neil links this little four together. Now, this is key. Oakridge really does get up that wing. He tends to cut City near more, which will be important when you come to the next system. And Neil links this all up. They're all tied together so we can play. And then, if we look without the ball, now if you enjoy tactics, this is probably going to be a video for you. I know some of you may just be thinking of Garon Wick game, but... I just want to show you this. I'm no tactical genius by any stretch, and I'm not one that goes on and just tries random systems. There were thought, but there were a lot of thought process behind this. Without the ball, we see that Rodman sort of stays up on the left, but Orkridge comes back to drop him. As back three sits, Schools plays between these two. Flanagan's a little bit more advanced. But Neil also tucks in, so we sort of cover these areas with these players, and we force them inside. Now, that was the Telford game, we won that 3-0. We 
we now go to the Whitby game. Now the Whitby game was a slightly different formation. As I, as I said, this is the one that you saw with Beck as the left wing back. Again, we go to players and we have a look at the average position. Now, um, da, 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 this has got all the players that I didn't particularly want on it. Um, right, so let's just do it as... Um, bear with me, let me just think how we're going to do this. So, okay, wait a minute, Austin started, school started in Zayet, Flanagan, um, Junior... Neil, Oakridge, Edwards, Casey didn't start, did he? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beck and Rodman. Okay, that looks that looks reasonable. Right, so this time. This is with the ball again. So as you can see, more spread out. This is at home. We were more positive. We were we got the sort of impetus to go forward. It, the pressure was on us as the home team to, to make it happen. So let's have a look. We've got us three here. As you can see, wide. We stretch, we're wide at the back. That allows us to play out. Schools sits in here again, and Flanagan's a little bit more advanced. The main aim of this system is to get the ball into him quick. Get the ball and play in this triangle. Triangles everywhere in this system. We've got a triangle here between these three to get the ball into Flanagan. We've got the midfield triangle to keep possession in the middle. Then we've got this happening here. We've got, and this is where Beck comes in. As you saw in the last one, Rodman will cut inside. So Rodman comes inside more. Then, with Beck being in the team, as he drags this defender here into him, Beck has the freedom to do that. He has the freedom to go on the outside. Because Edwards is playing through the middle as the main target man, he's occupying mainly the two centre-halves that we tend to play against. And as you see, Hawkridge on the right-hand side also pulls wide because he's the winger. So we're really, we've got it all there. Rodman's the main one who supports Edwards in this system. Right? So, now we go to without the ball. So I'll just click all these back on. And I will just take all these back off. And I'm going to talk you through all this. And then you do know Gloucester are going to beat us at home. And I'm going to look stupid. But now have a look at this system now. Now look how more compact we are. And look at the players we've got back. Now, Dinzea has back three here. This is his back three. Again, school sits lovely between these two. Because we've got Beck, Beck drops into his left wing back position, which covers this. We, kept, we saw that Austin were getting overloaded down that side in, in the Curzon Ashton game. That's how actually they came back into it. Beck stops that happening. And when he stops that happening, it gives Rodman time to get back. By that time, he's, the players who are attacking this end of the pitch, we've got players here. We're capable. Oakridge keeps doing his little bit on the right. And we leave Edwards up top to knock the ball to on the counter should we need it. At which point, Oakridge, Rodman and Neil can link it and we can counter straight away. That's how it has worked. And we've scored seven goals and only conceded one in the last two games. Important to note that one, I'd made a few changes thinking of this game. So that's the tactic that we're using. So today's game against Gloucester, um, I haven't picked the team just yet, but I might as well pick it with you guys now. So I don't want to change it too much. Um, I'm going to play Flanagan from the start. I'm probably going to put Crutchley in that position. Oh, it seems a bit harsh on him, but that's fine. McManaman's not really fit, so he can't be on bench. Um, so we might have to put Hines there. So this will be the team that starts. Again, we're going to be positive because I think we've got enough about us. So it's going to be all you aim in goal. Back three of Dinzea, Crutchley Jr. and Austin. Schools and Flanagan and Crutchley as the midfield three. Beck is the left wing back with Hawkridge on the right. Rodman is the advanced playmaker coming off the left, supporting Edwards up top. Now, did I show you the table? We're currently, we've got a game in hand on these two. And we are four points off top. This isn't the game in hand. 
But again, we have got the chance here to uh, to get ourselves really back in this title hunt. So hopefully, after telling you all that, we aren't going to go and get hammered by Gloucester here. I feel it was just a case of allowing players to to do what they're good at, and and I had to somehow get that right. And we and we have done. So let's hope that we do here. Austin's looked good at left, but uh, on the left hand side of the back three, we've looked good all round. And like I said, this little this little triangle we've got down the left now with Rodman, Flanagan, and Beck, we've got this where hopefully you'll see that Beck overlaps, as we know he's very capable of doing. But we're not constantly relying on a Beck overlap or a cross or etc. etc. We're at a point now where we've got different ways that we can score goals. And as for keeping possession, if it's anything like the last couple of games, we've certainly been doing that better, and we've been up in the 60s for possession. But, obviously, Gloucester have a corner that's whipped in. And, of course, after talking you through all the tactics and all of that, we go 1-0 down. How disgraceful is that? And it looks like Gloucester, are on top. But, Dinzena, Schools, Crutchley, looks to knock it out to the right, can't quite get there. Hawkridge picks it up, and Hawkridge goes into Flanagan. Schools now. Schools, that's a poor ball. Crutchley Junior tries to nod away. Schools can't get there. And Gloucester are looking like they are not here to play the... Off oh, for the two we two nil down. We've gone through all that. And whatever they're doing is working. We've got to demand more. I'm stunned. I'm totally stunned. We've just been playing so, so well. And it looks like we're going to get hammered here. Um, aggressively. You're making me look stupid. After all that talk, We're in a to we're in total disarray. Total disarray. I'm amazed. But hopefully we will come back here, Flanagan now, to whip in. Oh, and it's Playing well by their goalkeeper as York go 1 0 up. But that's a poor kick from their goalkeeper. Schools will pick up. Knocks it down the right for Hines. Dinzea. Schools. Come on, boys. Beck down the left hand side. Looks to cut inside and does and strikes when it's a good save from the Gloucester goalkeeper. I'm telling I'm just. Flanagan now to whip in. Austin will pick up. And he's brought down. Come on, lads. Oh, dear me. Gloucester attacking again. It's whipped in. And Gloucester are freeing a up. Oh my word. We're in a total mess. Rodman down the left to Beck. No, oh, Beck can't get the cross in. It's Edwards. Back to Crutchley, takes a touch, schools, out to Beck. 
whips it across. It's nodded down. Neil Hines gets in. Tariq Hines gets the goal. Come on, boys. We <laughs> I can't believe what I'm witnessing. I've just watched us play absolutely brilliant for three games and then we've come on camera and got absolutely stuffed. Oh, Austin misses his header. And all you aim it as well. Come on. It's kicked upfield to Rodman. Rodman into Neil. Neil takes a touch. Can he play Edwards through? He can. Oh, Edwards can't score. And we are trying everything. To be fair, McClure looks like he's bullied our three centre half today. Didn't say it. Oh, come on. Keep playing, keep playing the game. Rodman into Neil. Neil knocks the out left towards Beck. Beck takes a touch. Attacking the full bike. Oh, he strikes it and it's wide. And that's disappointing. And you know what? This might even be a two-game episode because I'm I'm really aware of how stupid I look after telling you all about this tactic and we're getting hammered three-one now. Um, no tactics foolproof, but bugger me. I mean, to say we've been hammered. Bait. Oof's clear. Edwards attacking. Come on, son. Oh, he couldn't get his shot away. And we're still desperately trying to muster a comeback. Crutchley now to whip him right forward. Oh, and Austin will, have, Austin will try and pick it up. The league table now. This is a big defeat, this. Huge defeat. That's an unbelievable defeat. We lose 3-1. It wasn't good enough at all. And... I can't believe after running for all that we are... That we got beat like that. Now when's the next game? Ten days away. Right, what we'll do is, we are going to play that game um, on camera, just to show that maybe, I mean, if we lose that one as well, fair enough. Um, but yeah, we'll be back for that second one, so hold it there. Trust me, I weren't talking a load of rubbish. Okay then, so, just to prove that um, I'm not absolutely stupid, because I do realise how stupid I looked after that last bit, um, we go again now. Andy Crutchley is not going to play in the centre of midfield. It's going to be Neil. Um, so the team's going to be pretty much unchanged. So all, all you aim in goal, Austin Jr. and Dinzea. Schools, Flanagan and Neil. Hawkridge, Rodman with Edwards up front with Simpson. So we've got us front two back. Um, yeah, didn't go well that last game, did it? But in fairness, like I said to you, we'd had a very good run. Um, and we'd done really well. And then that's just obviously bad confidence. But... Fear not, because we're back against... Oh, have we got today? Is it... Um, oh, we got... I want to tell you we've got... Kettering, Kettering away. So they're playing a sort of a 5 2, one, two system. Um, hopefully now, they might go on to, um, to show you what I meant by all that tactical analysis um, before the first game. But, I mean, if we lose to Antrop, I mean... It's going to give a good laugh at most, isn't it? So, at least you'll have a good laugh saying, well, he doesn't know what he's talking about, does it? But maybe. <laughs> you never know. You might just see what I was talking about in this game. As Oakridge tries to get down the right-hand side, but he's stopped. Again, keeping early possession, and we've had the first shot of the game. 
Um, I don't like this gap that's opening, but we've got a long throw from Schools who chucks it in. And it's cleared off the line just in time by the Kettering defender. But a positive start from us. Flanagan there uh, to whip in, right footed. Can't quite get ahead to it, but Simpson knocks it back out to him. Plays it back into Simpson. Simpson to Flanagan, exchanging passes. And it's back to Dinsay, and we're probably going to start again now as Schools plays into Neil. Nice first time pass. Rodman, Simpson, playing his first game back after a 15 day illness. Um, and Kettering get it clear, and hopefully Nick Austin will tidy that up, and he does. Rodman, oh, and he's bad away. But yeah, I mean, I, I just can't believe that last game. Really can't. I thought we were, we've been so good. Austin wins that well. Rodman takes control and plays into Flanagan. Crutchley Junior schools. And it's out to this right and Hawkridge. Hawkridge will look to go down this right hand side and he does. Crosses in and there's Rodman arriving but not known for his heading. Unfortunately heads over. But it is all us. Has Kettering have a free kick? And we block it well. And Edwards is on the break. He's got Flanagan up in support. Neil's trying to get there. It's not the best ball over to Simpson. Who plays a nice ball into Neil. Who doesn't pick the right pass. And we're four on two there. But don't manage to capitalise on it. Schools now. Long throw. Well, it's not quite a long one. It's into Simpson. He'll back out to Schools. Hopefully he's going to whip in. And he does. Oh, and it's a good save by their goalkeeper. As York go 1 0 down, that's a big goal for Blythe. Flanagan now with the corner, whips in, Edwards heads over. And after 20 minutes gone, we are on top here though. Schools again, long throw in. Austin flicks on, and it's smashed away by Kettering as Dinze will look to pick that up, and he does. And hopefully play a nice pass. And it's all the way back to the goalkeeper, and we start again. Austin now. Remember, no Beck this time, so Rodman's got a bit more work to do on that left-hand side as it's knocked up long towards Simpson, but Kettering. Kettering deal with it. Knock it along the cells, but we pick it up. It's a bit it's a bit scrappy, a bit scruffy, as you probably expect at this level. Hawkridge now down this right-hand side, looks to cut inside. Still got it, Hawkridge. Fancies a strike, and it's into the fans behind the goal. And as it stands, the gap's currently six points. We just need a goal. Six points, then we've got his game in hand. Every chance. Every chance. We've got to start. Let's get creative for the last five minutes of this half, see if we can do anything. Neil's not having the best game now in the midfield. As Kettering smash up towards halfway, but Oakridge wins it well and plays it back into schools. Blythe go 2 0 up at York. Schools knocks it across to Rodman. Rodman takes a touch, puts his foot on it, and now plays it out to Austin, keeping wider, as we talked about in the tactical analysis. Neil now nods down. Oakridge again. Oakridge is getting space in this game. Tries to have a shot, and it's out for a throw-in, which I assume Schools will trot across to take, but not deemed worthy of a highlight. So, despite having 70% possession, three shots on target, we aren't in front here. So... Um, we have been the better team here. I'm not happy with his performance, so I'm going to tell him that. And hopefully, we go again. God, we just need a goal. We just need a goal. Let's Kettering go long again, but we pick it up. Come on, boys. Schools is having a good game in midfield. I mean, we're doing everything we can here. I'm not going to demand more yet just yet. I feel that a goal is coming. Flanagan now. Into the midfield and Neil. Neil down outside, uh, um, outside to Rodman even. Flanagan again. Right, Schools. Schools is having a cracking game and sprays it across to the right. And Oakridge now. Oakridge goes back into Schools. Out to Rodman. You can see we're playing and we're trying to just stretch him and open and find a gap. 
if we possibly can. Flanagan switches it across to the right. Orkridge now looks to take on his man can't. Rodman's on the edge of the box. Doesn't fancy the strike. Flanagan into Edwards. It's good passing football. Edwards now. Oh, and he hits the post. And that's really unlucky again. And I mean, if Kettering were to score here, that this would be such an injustice. I mean... With Kettering's first shot on target, they score. Neil's not having a good game. It's Crutchley's going to come on. Oh, I just... I despair. I absolutely despair at what I see. Flanagan now tries one of his own, but that's wide. And we need we need a big response now. We need a massive response. Rodman tries to pick that up and does. Keeps all the possession. Flanagan back into him. Right, looks up. Knocks it across to the right. Orkridge has been a constant thorn in, his, on, in the Kettering defence's side. But we can't quite get the goal. Flanagan now. Back out to the right to Hawkridge. Crosses it first time. Rodman heads... Edwards, oh, and it's into the keeper's hands. It was a lovely move. We are playing good football, but sadly, we are not quite getting the getting the what we deserve. And that's a poor, poor, poor free kick. It's knocked back up though, and it's wiped away again. Rodman now into Flanagan, Crutchley into Simpson, Flanagan again. Rodman. We're just trying to look at how stubborn this Kettering defence is. Rodman into Flanagan. Schools, Flanagan. Little passes out to Hawkridge. Takes a touch, fires it across. Crutchley's there! And Andy Crutchley gets the equaliser. What an header. Right place. Great play by Hawkridge, admittedly, but it's a good, good header. Into the top right hand corner. And now we're back on top. Come on, boys. Get creative. Do it. You totally deserve to win this game. Kettering now, though, looking to come back themselves. It's in behind Rodman. Neville down this side. They've got a man over. Oh, dear. It's heartbreaking. Oakridge. Down this right hand side. Skips past his man. Strikes one and the keeper saves. And we're trying absolutely everything here. I mean... I know this looks daft. I know it does. But I've got to try something. To hopefully... Maybe it just gives us a bit more width and allows us to get at them. As Kettering not long downfield. Oh, it's so disappointing. Could we? Could we rescue something? We've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. And I mean, please don't miss this. Joe Flanagan to step up. And he misses. And if you've ever seen an episode where it has just not gone right.
and their keeper comes and claims. It is so disappointing, this Rodman. It's across to Hawkridge. Yes! Get in there! Get in there! I tell you, Summer, that might be a big goal. And it's no less than we deserve. No less. I mean, the. <laughs> I just can't. Bake knocks it long, Simpson. We couldn't, could we? Flanagan. Time. We're in added time, in added time. Beck's down this left hand side. Tries to put the cross in and doesn't. But does win it back and it time surely he's gonna be up as Nick tries to spread it away to the right hand side but can't. It's been a cracking game. I'm sure it's been a good game to watch. And yes, there will be questions about this tactic, I'm sure. It wasn't good enough. Let's just go to the stats because and I know every it's not about stats. I understand that. I understand it isn't about stats and there's only one stat that matters and the stat is that we've just drawn 2-2 two -two against somebody close to the bottom of the league. 26 shots, 9 on target, 11 off target, 68% possession, 89% of passes completed and 91% of tackles won and, and again, we've done a lot of good things there. And I understand that we can just lump it into the box. I understand that we can just play for set pieces. I get all that. I totally get all that. But we want to see some football, don't we? And we will carry on. And I'm st I believe that with this style of football, that we will do well this season. And that we will hopefully go up as champions. If you have enjoyed that, and um, or it just made you laugh at how poor that first and second result were after that big in-depth tactical analysis then please do like the uh, the video and even subscribe if you want to see more of me making a fool of myself but we will come good at some point um yeah and you will see another video tomorrow so thank you very much for watching and good night